We are back. I'm so happy you're joining us for another Shiseido Beauty Live event. My name is Dora and I am uh, going to be your host today. Of course, we are right in the middle of summer, so we are going to discuss the importance of summer skin care with one of our favorites, Cindy Buck from Shiseido is here. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Dora. Thanks for having me back. So excited to share an ideal Japanese skincare ritual for this hot and muggy weather that is summer for us. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we are feeling it here in Texas for sure. And I'm, you know, I'm at headquarters, which is in Dallas. So I'm so happy. And you know, we're right in the middle of summer. So this is perfect. Um, we're excited to hear all about it. Of course, everybody wouldn't let us know where you're watching from. Just post it in the comments along with any questions. And of course, if you've got Shiseido products that you love, let us know about it and tell us why you love it. Um, like and share with everybody so that we, they can watch with you. So Cindy, I'm excited. What do you have for us? Well, I really want to share how to take care of this precious skin that we have, even when it's hot, when it's muggy, or maybe you're somewhere where it's extra dry in the summer. The summer demands an intensive skincare ritual and also the ultimate in sun protection. So we have all of that for you today. I want to share some iconic products you know, if you've been with us before, a few of these you may recognize. And like Dora said, some of these may already be your favorite. So let us know in chat what you love about them. All right. So we get started, Dora? Yes, please do. Absolutely. So, you know, it's very important to start with cleansing, proper cleansing. So many of you may already be using good sun protection, sun protection that lasts. And so every single night and then every single morning to start our day, we want a proper cleansing ritual. And so Shiseido style, I'm recommending clarifying cleansing foam for the summer. I love the fact that this won't dry my skin, but it will remove any traces of leftover sunscreen or makeup. And it's really going to leave the skin feeling hydrated and smooth. So this one is uber concentrated. Just a little bit will go a long way, about the size you'd put on your toothbrush and um, toothpaste, right? So with that, through the magic of, of this promotion or this time together, I went ahead and kind of foamed some up. So with that amount, I would use some water. And this is that luxurious foamy mm. texture that you'll get so a lot of times, Dora, I notice that people will use their cleanser just straight from the tube and they won't activate that foam. So we really want to get that foam activated. Use a little water, bubble it up in your hands or use a brush. And that foam is going to be luxurious and rich and remove all of those traces I talked about. Yeah, that's great. I, I love to see a product in action. Kind of it makes me feel a bit better to see it doing something because I just feel like well, it makes me feel like I'm doing something as well. <laughs> right. You know, it, a lot of people will tell me, I don't typically cleanse in the morning. I just do it at night. And I remind them about everything that happens at night and how much our skin will sweat. Um, we're laying on linens that might not be perfectly clean every, every day of the week. And so cleansing is an important part of, of giving yourself a fresh start every morning. And Cindy, and then, now also for some of us that use the night, um, scare, um, nine skincare routine. That is kind of also a way to kind of refresh, get it all back off and kind of start over with the day. Right, right. That's true. So many clients will tell me that they'll, you know, go to bed with their makeup on and the makeup inherently is not the problem, but everything that's stuck to that makeup, all of the pollutants, all of the um, oxidants in the air that can stick to our foundation. And then we're laying straight on a pillow and just rubbing it into our face. So proper cleansing morning and evening. You're right. It's important. All right. What I love about the way that cleanser works is the fact that it's using Kirishima mineral spring water. It will not leave the skin feeling taut or dry. You'll feel smooth. You'll almost feel moisturized after such a luxurious cleanser. But what we love to use in a Japanese beauty ritual is a special step. And I want to hear from all of you out there watching. Have you ever used a softener from Shiseido? So drop that in chat. Let us know if you've used a softener. In the J-Beauty ritual, this will actually start the deep penetration of all of your skincare products. So as you see, a softener is fairly liquid, right? 
And I love to apply it with Shiseido cotton. So I put a little extra squirt there. I pre-wet my cotton before we started. And with a softener, you'll see immediately, see a little bit of a gleam there, a little sheen, right? So what this is going to do is penetrate deep into the skin. It's not like a, an astringent or a toner. This is really starting the hydration of your skin. So we have that perfectly balanced skin after cleansing. This product is going to drive moisture deep into the skin and give you those benefits immediately of a hydrated skin. It's prepping the way for any serums, any moisturizers that you use after because they'll penetrate more deeply. Have you been using a softener, Dora? I have. I was going to comment, um, you know, you were talking about the astringent. You can definitely tell the difference. You don't feel like you're um, drying your face. You feel like you're adding moisturizer. And actually, I just noticed in our comments, Cynthia at Randolph Air Force Base, she also says always uses a softener. Once you start, it's a hard step to skip. Trust me. Uh, it's addictive because after cleansing and softening your face, just like my hand, like that hydration is giving us, I'm really trying here. See, I can, mm -hmm. if I straighten my arm, but like hard to pinch, hard to pinch skin. It's really plumping that skin with hydration. And so you can see visible results just after softening. And that's before using an iconic product from Shiseido, our exclusive, our patented Ultimium Power Infusing Complex. Now, Dora, I know you've told me before about this product and what you noticed in your own skin. Yeah, and I know that's one of our customer favorites as well. So this is really going to be a skin strengthening, potent antioxidant serum. It's lightweight, it's for all skin types. And what it's giving us is a skin that's better able to defend itself from environmental aggressors, things that we face every day. What you'll see with our iconic Ultimune is not only a pinch-proof skin, but you'll see that we address lines and wrinkles. You'll see a smoothing in the skin. You'll notice that your skin is clear. It's lightweight, fully absorbed. And this product is going to give you just that better, healthier skin that we all want through the science of Shiseido. You know, Dora, we've been in, in business since 1872. I say we, I wasn't there at the time, right? But Shiseido has the ultimate in technology for the skin and it's safe and it's really renowned for how Shiseido takes care of our skin. Once you start, put it in chat, let us know. It's hard to leave, isn't it? Yes, we actually have several people watching us right now. Cindy, we've got Melissa at Fort Cavazos. And um, I mentioned Cynthia earlier that she says she loves the softeners. Um, we've got somebody watching in Jacksonville, Florida, which I'm sure it's super hot out there as well. Eglin Air Force Base and Fort Sam Houston. So we've got lots of people watching us. Lots of love for us today. A lot of folks close to our stomping ground. Both Dora and I are in Texas. She's up near Dallas. I'm in Houston. Uh, but we both are feeling this hot weather and having a skin that's really made to be stronger, more resilient, smoother, plumper, despite what the weather is giving us right now, well, it's important. I want to show you just two more items. I want to show you a, an ending before we get to sun protection of your J Beauty ritual, because we've cleansed, we've softened, we've used our skin strengthening serum, we've smoothed the look of lines and wrinkles, skin looks more radiant immediately after applying, look at that, and then within three days of using Ultimune, you'll see a visible difference in radiance naturally in your skin, it's like this renewed glow, but we still need a moisturizer. For me, and I know some of you have watched before, I love a moisturizer that gives me not only that hydration, that layer of hydration to keep my skin feeling soft and smooth, but I also want a product that will help with firmness, with lifting. In my 50s especially, what I've noticed is that I want to pick it up, I want to tighten it up, and I really want to keep it looking bright, smooth, and, and like line-free. I'll always have a little bit of a smile line. That's just a part of my nature, but I want to make sure that I'm not forming these deep furrows and that I'm not really seeing these uh, little crosshatch dehydrated lines. Ultimune does a lot of that anti-wrinkle action, but then I bring in our vital perfection. Here we go, our vital perfection, uplifting and firming cream. My lid's around somewhere. 
I got excited. I went ahead and put that on my hand. This one is an enriched cream. So for me, even when it's a bit humid outside, I want to make sure that I'm using a product that addresses my naturally dry skin. Without great skincare, I need a product that, you know, that's going to correct what my skin would do naturally at my age. I just don't have quite as much moisture until I start my skincare regimen. So this moisturizer, you can see, it's leaving a little slip on the surface. It's wonderful for you folks out there that are drier, normal to dry, even very dry. But this is a great moisturizer for you if you're looking for that uplifting and firming action. So vital perfection, our scientists have found a flower, the Benibana flower, that helps with that firmness and that feeling of youthfulness, especially in this part of the face where we can start to lose it. Yeah, I, I have noticed, you know, when you were talking about the little cross hatch kind of, you know, it's so tiny, you think, um, but of course, when you're applying your makeup, you're applying your, your moisturizer, you can see it, and that is almost like a filler. It feels like, oh my gosh, it smooths it out. And it just feels so much better on the skin. You know, a little moisturized, a little hydration uh, goes a long way. Right. I put a, a pretty big pearl size on my hand, but that pearl size is enough for full face. So you saw me take any remaining. It's just velvety smooth now. And I took a little remaining to my neck because why waste such a great product? Now, I want to share something. If you've used our Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Cream, either the, the first or the enriched, I want to share a way to really maximize those benefits. You know, at Shiseido, not only are the products technologically advanced and really rooted, steeped in natural botanicals, however, we can also improve the efficacy with a little massage. And so with this one, Vital Perfection, I love to do a V-lift massage. Let me show you how that looks. I put two fingers right under my chin, and then with the palms of my hand, I'll apply pressure upward. So it looks like a V and it lifts. So after I put my moisturizer on, I will do that with the full palm up against the cheek and three to six times in the morning as that moisturizer is just quickly absorbing, getting that quick massage in, you really have that lifted look to skin much more rapidly with the, that action. Oh, we love that. Thank you so much. We love those tips. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I know we want to talk about sad, but I can't get there until we address these needs that we can get in the eye area. You know, often latter 20s, early 30s, we see that first little line and it starts right here. But without proper care, it can progress and we can start to get crow's feet under puff lines, lines up above on the lid, those crease lines. And I make that motion sometimes. I don't want that angry 11, that stress wrinkle that can form right here. I don't want that to be permanent. So to address all of those concerns, lines and wrinkles, Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. Now, each of the creams, whether it's the moisturizer I use for face or for eye, come with a little spatula. And so you'll use just the right amount. So with this one, I have a little on my spatula here. It's going to be about the size of a rice grain. And that rice grain, what I'll do is just warm it between my fingers and then I'll pat it around the eye and then gently smooth that eye area while you have a little slip. You have a few minutes to do a little lift around the eyes. If you're noticing any lines and wrinkles in the corner, just give yourself a little circular massage to smooth those. And then I'm using the pressure against the orbital bone just to smooth that upper, upper eyelid as well, right below the brow. I also like to massage in a little of that eye cream right on these lines to keep them from forming. I don't want this look all the time. I want them to stay smooth. And Benefiance is going to give you that inner wrinkle filler, that plumping action in an eye cream. So that is our little pot of gold. It's one of our best selling eye creams and it's a great place to start with Shiseido if you've not used our product yet. And so now that, that small grain amount, is that you used it all in those three areas, all of that yeah. same single? Just Start to pat it in. I had a little left on my fingertips, but you can tap, 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 and take it right there and then just smooth it in. That's amazing. That's great. It'll go a long way. It will. You know, 
every one of our products have a concentration and you'll see quick results. In fact, with Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream, our scientists have found you can see a visible improvement in the look of lines in the eye area in as little as one week. So that's impressive. So get in there, one little spatula size, which is about a rice grain, tap it in and smooth it out. Beautiful hydration. Your concealer, if you use one, will really apply beautifully right over that eye cream as well. All right, Dora, I think we should get to sun. What do you think? Yes, yes, I'm excited. And you know, I do have a quick question. So we've got our our foundation, we've got we've cleansed, we've moisturized, and you know, we've got our eye cream. Um, so that's how we get started now. When we move into our sun protection, do we do this before we apply our makeup? Do we do it after? Kind of what's the order that we should um apply in? That's a great question. And you know, I've also had people ask if they apply sunscreen before or after moisturizer. So here's the lowdown. Sunscreen is the last step of skincare and it's the first step of makeup. Okay, so it's right in between. I would have cleansed, softened, used my skin strengthening serum to give me that smooth, radiant glow, moisturizer for face, that uplifting and firming cream, and then smooth the lines and wrinkles, keep those, chase them away in the eye area. That's an investment and my skin shows the results. I've got to protect it. You know, UV light can be up to 90% of visible aging. And because of that, to complete a Japanese beauty ritual, we must protect. And I have options that are perfect for every day and options that you will use when it's active play. When you're outside, you're swimming, you're jogging, you're doing yoga, you're at the beach, you're at the pool, you're gardening. In those cases, especially in the summer, you want a product that will outlast the sweat, will outlast the water, and will really strengthen when it gets hot. That's what we have in our ultimate sun protecting lotion. It's an SPF 50 plus. Let me show you the texture. Oh, real quick. With any of our lotions, when they have that dumb top, shake, shake, shake. Make sure that you're emulsifying. We put a little shaker ball to keep that sunscreen as potent and pure as the first drop to the last. So just always shake before you use it. I'm going to put a little drop on my skin. Now you'll notice, let me get close there, a little bit of a peachy tone. That's just so you can see where you, look how quickly, look how quickly that goes clear. That's just for you to see where you've got that product applied so you can start to blend. It's a completely clear sunscreen. And the reason I love this for those active days outside, they're sweaty, they're hot. We have our Synchro Shield protection. And that means that this sunscreen strengthens when it detects moisture and strengthens when it detects heat. That's just outstanding in the industry. You don't find that heat force and wet force anywhere else. So this is going to give you that SPF 50 plus protection. You jump in the pool and it's going to form a stronger bond with skin. Or you get a little schwitzy, you're gardening outside and it's going to sense that moisture and stay on the skin better. Now I always reapply if I towel dry off because I may remove a little of my coverage um, or if I'm laying in the sand and kind of abrasion, abrasion there kind of removes a little coverage, but every couple of hours, that's going to keep you burn free and it will protect from UVA rays, those A rays that can age the skin. Uh, so I think if UVB is burning, UVA is aging, you can see the sunburn, but you don't get that with a sunscreen, but you need a sunscreen that has strong UVA protection as well for anti-aging to keep your skin smoother and clearer. When I say clear, I mean, you know, not getting those those splotches of sunspots on the skin, sunscreen is going to go a long way with that. And you'll notice that your skin will look younger for longer when you're using the proper sunscreen protection. Now, that lotion, it's a little shine, but you can see not much left on the skin. It's a lightweight texture. It doesn't stick in the sand. But for those of you that like a product for your face, you're drier like me and you want something that's creamier for the skin of the face, we have our cream version, the same Synchro Shield protection, the same 50 plus protection, but in a cream formula. I'm gonna put this on my other hand. Now this one's in a tube, so we don't have to shake it. It's creamy. There we go. 
And you'll see that this has a little more of a brightening action about it. So you'll see a clarity to the skin, a clarity there that will just kind of look bright. And you see how it softly diffuses light on the skin real close, like there's no sheen left behind. This almost feels like a moisturizer texture, but gives you SPF 50 plus protection. So if you really like a little extra of that moisturizing feel, you can use the cream for face, for neck, and then cover full body with your ultimate sun protection lotion. So great partners. I'll tell you something. Each and every day, I use one of the next products I'm going to show you. In fact, it'll be two products away. And it's an everyday sunscreen. But I have my makeup on over it, right? And so maybe I'll commute into work. I'll go visit someone at work. And then I find when I go home at five o'clock, I might not have my, my sunscreen protection any longer. I put it on before eight o'clock in the morning, right? So I will touch up with our clear sunscreen stick. Now, Dora, I know that you've tried this as well. Tell me, what did you think about that on your skin? Yeah, I am actually, I have it in front of me and I'm very comfortable applying it directly and I'm wearing makeup. Yeah. Um, it's just it's really light you do feel uh just enough of a, a a I guess a layer that you know you're getting some coverage yeah and it smells fresh there's not it like it does a, yeah mm -hmm. it does right so before I commute home I just cover everything that shows with this completely clear stick making sure that from the forehead down to the decollete I'm covered with that SPF 50 plus protection so that that sun coming in through the car in the afternoon, well, I have the ultimate protection. I have as much protection as I did in the morning. And so I'm fully covered. I'm protected in every way. A little hint, Dora, I also find that when I drive, there's a lot of UVA, right? You can feel heat coming through. Your hands don't burn, but you have UVA light. So our hands can start to age without protection. And so this one, I love. You can smooth over your hands and fingertips before you drive. It's why my hands look so clear and don't have the same. You can see a few little freckles where I didn't used to do that on my arms. So just cover those exposed areas. Hands are a dead giveaway that we're not caring for our skin properly. Yeah, you always know when somebody commutes daily because their left arm, their driving yeah. arm is a little bit darker. So, I mean, I love that. I wanted to mention something um, uh, about these products, I just love the little baggies they come in. Perfect for traveling. You know, you, you always worry about spillage. You want to, I always have to grab a Ziploc or something just, you know, just in case, but this already comes in something that, you know, that's protected, you know, protect your other stuff in your summer bags. I love that. You know, we've had clients tell us that they'll take those and drop their keys in with their sunscreen, put it under their beach towel and, you know, they go do their thing, but everything stays, stays sand free and kind of hidden away easily. That's a great idea. I didn't yeah. even think about that. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, Shiseido also takes a very ecological approach. And even the bags that the sunscreens come in, that bag that you showed us is made of plant derivatives. So instead of being pure plastic that takes forever to break down, it is a plant derived, um, almost plasticky feel that will biodegrade quickly if you do choose to, to toss it. But it is a great keeper of the product. I agree. Oh, we love Shiseido. That is, a, that's a, <laughs> we always learn so much when we have you on the, on the show. It's, um, you know, the UVA and the, um, the SPF, all that stuff is just so important to our, to our skin protection. And you explain it so well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I've got a few more to come. You know, I, I shared that I put one on every day. And so this would be, for instance, I'm working during the day. But I don't, um, I'm not going to be at the beach. I'm not going to be sweaty. I won't be around the garden. That's when I would bring in my urban environment. Now, even though I'm a drier skin, this one is oil-free, but it has hyaluronic acid in it to hydrate my skin. So it's like skincare driven sun care. This is an SPF 42. So this is what I use on those days. Like I said, that I'm not, you know, doing strenuous activities outside where I'd be sweating as much. Let's find, we're going to have to put this somewhere different. How about right here? So you can see. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit again of that kind of peachy tone. Mm -hmm. This one, oh, look how quickly. So you can still see a sheen, but that color, a little bit of the tone you saw, so you know where you put it, has dissipated. 
So this will end up looking clear on the skin in an oil-free formulation with a hydrating hyaluronic acid. So that's great protection every day. The reason I like that oil-free is I have treated my skin, of course, with my moisturizer. And so when I put my sunscreen on, it feels like I don't have anything on the surface of my skin. So very balancing. You can see goes colorless as you blend it into the skin. Good everyday protection. And this also has the dome top and I can feel the yes. little shaker ball. So we definitely need to shake this one. Yes, yes. Shiseido chooses to do that with liquids. So like I said, that very first drop or the last drop will give you the exact same sun protection. So be sure to shake, shake, shake when you've got that dome top. Now, again, if you are very dry and you like a creamier feel, we have our fresh moisture sunscreen. And this one is going to give us a little of a pearl effect, meaning it will, I'm going to put a little drop right here and show you. It will brighten the skin on contact. So much like the cream in the ultimate, this is going to give a little sheen and it's going to give you that, that immediate look of just a brighter, smoother skin tone while it's protecting from sun damage with that SPF 42. So I have a number of clients that love that creamier feel. And then we have a brand new product. So this is the one that you got. It's the VitaClear. VitaClear is going to combine the brightening benefits of vitamin C in a completely clear sunscreen. So let's say maybe in your teen years, your 20s, you, you didn't protect as much and you've got some splotches or some dark spots that you're not liking. You're wanting to brighten and even out the skin. VitaClear can do that while it protects with the SPF 42 protection. So if you already have a little damage, you're wanting a bright evening evening of the skin and a little glow. I have to find another spot for this. Here we go. Oops, as you can see, this one has, it says clear. I just barely did that and it, you see no color in the product, no color at all. And so VitaClear is going to give you a, a dewy finish. So it's not an oil-free texture, but it's lightweight, not really even velvety on the skin. Your skin just feels smooth and hydrated where it is. So great brightening benefits as well. Now, when would you choose, um, is this, like you said, when you're not going to be outdoors for a long time or you're not at the beach, but you still, you know, just walking in and out of your car or into your office or, you know, shopping, yeah. is that when you'd probably pick this one? This Agreed. It's, it's an everyday sun protector. So mm -hmm. it's those days that, again, I'm not sweating outside. I'm not swimming I'm not, um, you know, in the ocean. I just want a very good protection. It also has antioxidants to boost your, your antioxidant protection. That's important for anti-aging. So it's like this, this skincare meets sun protection. An urban environment is really going to, to complete your Japanese beauty ritual before you ever get to makeup. That's amazing. And uh, you know what? Something I haven't mentioned um, to our viewers, of course, our customer, if you go to shopmyexchange.com or if you go into our store, you already, um, you get to, uh, um, you get your special military exclusive pricing. So, and it's, it, you're going to save uh, about 15% off MSRP from anywhere else on Shiseido. So all these products um, that Cindy is talking to us about are available on shopmyexchange.com. And of course, you can always go into your local exchange and find your favorite Shiseido products. Absolutely. We love that. We, we love supporting the military. And yes, your already low exchange prices are going to save you money. So thanks for being with us today. We hope that you really take advantage of the assortment of sun. And I have one more to show you. So I do have clients that tell me, yeah, I work out, I'm outside. And maybe I like a look of makeup, but I don't like a sunscreen plus makeup. I like one step. We have a sports BB. Well, note again that domed top, so I'm going to give it a little shake. Sports BB is going to give us coverage that's not flat. When I say that, what I mean is it still allows your skin to look like skin. It's not this masky look, but it's going to give you an SPF 50 plus protection, and it has that wet force technology. So let's say you are outside, you're doing a, a camp gladiator, you're out doing you know, a little CrossFit and that's a hot garage gym, right? Put that on, you're gonna have your coverage, but you'll have SPF protection, 
50 plus, when you're, when you're running around that CrossFit gym, you are going to be protected with a nice look of even skin tone. Um, I don't know about you, but Nora, when I work out, I get bright red. And so having something that gives me some, some coverage from that, I still look like me, right? Yeah, that's amazing. Now, is it just one tone that it comes in um, for, you know, same for all? It's a great question. I just, you gave me a, a chance to grab them on my fingertips. Okay. We have a light, a medium, and a dark. So you can see that medium disappears on me real quickly. So that medium tone is what I would wear. If you use a Shiseido foundation, that's going to be somewhere in our 200 range, um, whereas the dark would be three to 400 range. And then our light tone would be in the 100s. So for those of you that already use a Shiseido Radiant Lifting Foundation or Synchro Skin Foundation, you'll be able to quickly choose your match by level one, two, and then three, four. Okay. Or maybe you want an instant tan and you could go. Oh, I love that. Or that would be great too. I love that. You know, there are times when my, my face is so protected, but I forget to touch up my neck. It's the worst thing. I reach in my handbag to drive home after, after visiting somewhere in, in the city. And I forgot this. I've given so many of these to friends because they love it. What happens is my neck can get a little darker, especially on this side. In the morning, I drive and the sun's coming from the east. In the evening, I drive, the sun's coming from the west. So this side of my neck can get darker if I fail to protect. And so sometimes I'll darken the foundation to make sure that I'm even toned from top to bottom. So using a little extra color in that would do the trick. And in fact, in the dark, you could even get a touch of a contour. So play with a couple of shades at your local exchange and uh, let us know what you think. Yeah, Cindy, I think you've got us covered for summer and for, you know, and of course, here in Texas, you know, summer doesn't end when it's supposed to. So it's really nice to have, um, you know, again, you have this covered for the rest of, of summer. We've got, a, I would say at least two more months <laughs> to yes. have, you know, to definitely take care of our skin from um, this extreme heat here in, in Texas. So true. You know, for those of you that are watching us for the first time, you've never experienced Shiseido products. Here's my challenge. Ultimium Power Infusing Concentrate. Your skin will thank you. This is going to be your anti-aging, antioxidant, smoothing, plumping, hydrating serum. You'll feel so good. And then pick up your Active Play sunscreen. That's your ultimate sun protector lotion. Anytime you think you're gonna be wet, hot, and sweaty, this is your choice. And pick up our oil-free or Phytoclear, if you want a little brightening, urban environment. This is going to give you your everyday protection, either under your makeup or without. And your skin's going to love the benefits of a sun-powered skincare product, a little combination there. Thank you so much, Cindy. Thanks for being with us today and sharing all the knowledge. And I'm going to head to a Texas Ranger game tonight. So I'm definitely going to include myself um, some coverage there. Um, nice. But, you know, of course, you're always a special treat to have and a pleasure because you know your stuff and we really appreciate you sharing all of that knowledge with us. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Dora. I appreciate the military and I love being here with you. And of course, Beauty Tribe, thank you once again for spending time with us today. Um, we have another Beauty Live next Friday, the 21st at 12 p.m. Central. But again, thanks, Cindy. And everybody, um, you guys have a great weekend. And don't forget your sun protection. That's right. Thanks, Dora. Thanks, all. Thank you. Bye, Cindy. Bye.